Hello, I'm really sorry I couldn't be with you this morning um, or this afternoon. And um, without further ado, I'm just going to go straight into what I wanted to share with you. Now, I'm going to start off by actually showing you uh, a little bulb. And then I want you to see that that little bulb shrivels up. And from that position, it becomes this flower. It rises up and then becomes a beautiful flower. And what I want to say to you is that written into creation is the actual new way in which God is going to do things. Resurrection is in the very creation itself. You have something that dies, something that's raised up on the stem, and then you've got the flower at the end. And that's a picture of what happens to us when we die. Death, resurrection, and then final glory, or the beauty of the body that God has given us. Now, I want to try and explain the strange story uh, of Jesus on the shore and the breakfast meal. We pick this up after a number of odd appearances after the crucifixion. Mary was at the tomb. She didn't recognize Jesus, and he'd only died three days later or three, day, eight, three days earlier. It's not a great example for those who are going away on a business trip, even for a week. Now, I had visa problems uh, one occasion when I was in India, uh, and I was a month in India without Janet, but she didn't have any problems recognizing me when she joined me later. So what was happening here? There's another story of some disciples on the road to Emmaus, and they didn't recognize Jesus. He appeared to the disciples and, and, and at one stage and he said, go to a particular mountain and I'll meet you there. Matthew says that when he met them at the mountain, some worshipped uh, and some doubted. Not just Thomas, some doubted. Now, at this breakfast that we're talking about here, the last comment that was made in the reading was, no one dare ask him who he was. They knew it was the Lord. Well, if they knew who it was, why would you want to ask? I once met a, a Christian leader after a year of being in a different country. Uh, he'd been on the Atkins diet uh, and he was massively reduced in weight. I was about to say, are you Larry's brother? Well, why would I say that? What was the point? Well, he changed in appearance and that's what made me doubt who he was. Now, what am I saying and, and what is the relevance of this to Claire? Well, Jesus' body was raised from the dead, so it's no longer in the tomb, but it was transformed into a spiritual body. That body was like a physical body with flesh and bones, and he ate a piece of flesh in front of them, a piece of fish in front of them. But he just appeared through a locked door, and you don't do that with a physical body. The same Jesus, but a different body. Now, you have the story of the transfiguration. If you remember, the disciples were up the mountain. Uh, they saw Elijah and Moses talking to Jesus. Well, how did they know it was Moses and Elijah? There weren't any cameras in ancient Egypt when the Israelites escaped. They just knew. Paul talks about the same thing in a famous chapter on love. Now I know in part, I, I know some things. Then I shall know fully. There are millions and millions of people in heaven or in the spiritual realm. How many people do you know here on earth? 100? 200? 500? If there were only a million people in heaven, that leaves 99,500 people that you don't know. That's a lot of strangers if you have to be introduced before you can even have a decent conversation. In heaven, you just know. There are differences. Resurrection means you do have a body. You're not just floating around like a ghost or a spirit, but it's a spiritual body with the capacity to do things that you just can't do at the moment while you're physically alive. You'll know things, you'll hear things, you'll see things, you'll experience things that are unimaginable right now. So how did Claire get to be so lucky to be part of that great future? Well, it's not really luck at all. She heard all about Jesus. 
and the better life she could experience if she gave up trying to own her own life and be her own boss and run things her own way. And when she said yes to Jesus, everything changed and she started on this incredible journey. She hasn't been resurrected yet. That's still to take place. But she's with Jesus now and she's supremely safe until the day of resurrection. And that's the hope for every person who has committed their life and their future to God. Next time you see a daffodil, remember the lesson. Seed, stem, and the beauty of the flower. Death, resurrection, and glory. Amen.